Now in the period of time between Pesach and Shuas, the time of Sphere Saimer, when every night we count seven weeks, 49 days, until we reach Shuas, the time of Matan Taira. Chazal teach us that in this period of time, 24,000 Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva died. And the reason that they died was because of the Avera of Sinis Chinam, Shiloinagu Kovat Zebeze. And one would be astounded at the fact that this great number, this terrible tragedy, 24,000 Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva, an incomprehensible number of Talmidim, were Nifter in this period of time. Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva who taught us that vahavta l'reyacha kamocha ze klal gadol b'tayra. That one of the great principles of the Torah is vahavta l'reyacha kamocha. Rabbi Kiva, who even before he became Maranan Shel Yisrael, Taisus tells us that he was very particular in the Mida of Kovod Abrius. And Davka, the Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva, should be nichshol in the Avera of Sinas Chinam. And furthermore, the Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva were nifter in this period of time, in the time between Pesach and Shuas, which the Ramban teaches us is a time of great Kedusha. And he compares the time between Pesach and Shuas the seven weeks, and after the counting of the seven weeks, then the eighth day after that, the day of Shuas, he compares it to the seven days of Sukkot and the eighth day, Shemini Atzeres. And Shuas is also called Atzeres. And just like there are seven days of Sukkot, the intervening period is a Choloshul Mayed, there's a Yontif, and then Shemini Atzeres, and the days in between are a Chola Mayed, a very exalted period of time. So too, the weeks, the days between Pesach and Shuas, they're a Bechina of Chol Shemayed, a very exalted period of time. So Davka, the Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva, the great Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva, who taught the importance of Kovod Abrius, they were Nifter Davka in this period of time, this holy period of time of the Yimei HaSvira. What is the connection between these events? Perhaps we can explain this, I'll pee the maral. That Chazal teaches us that Kola Godel Mechavera Yisra Godel Heimena. Whoever is greater than the next, whoever is on a higher spiritual plane than the next person, just like his Yetzer Tov is greater than the other, so too the Yetzer Hara is, grows within him. The Yetzer Hara is misgaber a love. Because the world was created that there should be choice, there should be free choice, free will to choose good. And therefore, someone who is greater, he has a greater Yetzer Tzayv, his Yetzer Hara increases as well. And the battle rages within him. And perhaps we can say, based on that, that not only that a person, but in addition, there are periods of time when the Yetzer Hara increases as well. And in holier times, times where there's a greater hashpa of Kedusha, when there are times when there's a greater spiritual influence, the Kayach of the Yetzer Hara increases as well. And perhaps we can say even more that in a mitzvah that is greater and a person who is able to perform that mitzvah to perfection, Davka in those times, in that mitzvah, to that person, the Yetzer Hara, he expends all his energy 
That's when the Yetzirah battles in full force to try to trip up the person, to try to have the person stumble. Because the Yetzirah, his mission is to prevent the growth of Ruchnius. The Yetzirah's mission, his mandate, is to prevent the spread of spirituality of Ruchnius. And Davka, in a person, who is greater than the next, and Davka in a person, who is performing a great mitzvah, and Davka in a person who is capable of performing that mitzvah to perfection, and Davka in a holy time. That's when the Yetzirah sends out all of its forces and tries to be marshal that person and prevent him from performing that mitzvah and from bringing that spirituality into the world. And that's a lesson that we have to take and internalize specifically in these days, in these holy days between Pesach and Shuas, as we try to prepare for Matan Terah, for accepting upon ourselves the Terah, where we relive Matan Har Sinai and the giving of the Terah and the great influence, the Hashpa of Matan Terah. And we have to be aware that the Yetzir Hara, the Sultan, will try to be Machshalas in Sinas Chinam, in all kinds of Averas, and we have to strengthen ourselves and prepare ourselves. And prepare ourselves for the great day of Matan Terah, for Chag HaShvuas. Yehi that we will greet the holiday, the Chag of Shuas, accept upon ourselves the Torah, the commandments and the mitzvahs, and greet Pnei Mashiach Tzikeinu B'mher V'yamein.